basket of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's one of my favourite stories and I hope you're going to enjoy it too. Today I have some friends with me. So my name is Sylvia. My Hi name. everyone. My name is Susie. Hi everyone. And my name is Delphine. Hello everybody. Hi. So today we want you to learn new words but most importantly we want you to have fun. We want you to enjoy yourself and learn English with us. So if you can answer some questions for us, you can use the chat box. Did you find the chat box, everyone? Good, great. Perhaps you want to write something in the chat box. Good, we've got lots of people writing in the chat box. So maybe I can ask Susie, how old are you, Susie? I'm nine and I live in Spain. Good, so Susie's nine, she lives in Spain. How old are you? Where are you from? Delphine, perhaps you could introduce some of our... Sure, we've got Alejandro from Spain. Hello, Alejandro. We've got Nadia who's saying hi. Hi, Philip as well. Uh, we've got, we've got, uh, yes, Yes, Zosia from Ukraine. We've got Alex who's five in Korea. So we've got so many, so many children today, Sylvia. It's fantastic. Oh, that's so good and so exciting. And you found the chat box so quickly. Brilliant. So while we're, while we're in the webinar, we're going to be asking you to write your answers to some questions in the chat box. If you just want to say hello, tell us a little bit about yourself, then feel free. And every couple of minutes, we'll come back to the chat box and we'll say hello to everybody. So fantastic to have so many people on the call. Are we ready to get started? I am. You're ready to get I started, am. Delphine? Are you ready? Let's go for it. I'm ready, Sylvia. I'm ready, Susie. Brilliant. So let's kick off. Oh, so first of all, before we tell our story, it's very important to get to know some of the main characters in our story. So we want to know who is Mummy Bear, who is Daddy Bear, who is Baby, Baby Bear, Bear, and who is Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Can you say those words? Can you repeat? Can I hear you? Let's go for it. So I'll say it and then Susie say it. So you say the words with Susie. Mummy Bear. Mummy Bear. Daddy Bear. Daddy Bear. Baby Bear. Baby Bear. And Goldilocks. And Goldilocks. Good. So let's see if we know who Mummy Bear is. Let's see if we know who Daddy Bear is and see if we can find Goldilocks. So have a look at the picture. In picture A, who is this little character? Who is the character on the left? Does anyone know? Which character is letter A? Write your answer in the chat box for us. Have we got lots of answers coming? Yes, through? we've got Petro saying it's Baby Bear. Good. Is that correct? That's right. So picture A is Baby, Baby Bear. Bear. Now, and Janelle as well is saying it's Baby Bear. And Michaela and Irnia, lots and lots of children are guessing that it's Baby Bear. Fantastic. Okay, let's move on to B. Who do we think is B? Because he's a big bear. So who's B? Yes, and Alex. Yes, Alex got the right answer. Oh, good. We've got Daddy Bear. That, we have some very smart children on this call today. Well done, everybody. And what about C? Who is C then? Do we know who C is? Yes, Zosia's got it right. And Elif as well, and Neil and Ahmed. Well done. Oh. It's Mummy Bear. Exactly. So we can see all three bears in that first picture. So in the picture below, who do we think this is? Goldilocks. Well done. You're so fast. We've got Olivia saying Goldilocks. We've got Ashra saying Goldilocks. Oh. Susie, these kids are very good, aren't they? Very well done guys okay so those are the main characters in our story 
Now, do you know these words? So these are some very important words that you're going to need to know for our story. So we saw bear before, didn't we? We saw mommy bear, daddy bear and baby bear. But you also need to know some other words. So we need to know the words bear, chair. Bear. Did you see how that rhymes? Bear and chair. And then we have bed, forest, house, a bowl of porridge. Mm, I'm hungry, a bowl of porridge, yummy. So shall we practice? Should we practice everybody? So what is picture A? Who knows what picture A is? Michaela knows. And we, oh, we've got so many children answering. We've got Amisa as well, who's got the right answer. Nadia, we've got Tim. Yes, Leo. Susie, uh, can you tell us? Yeah, what is picture A, Susie? Picture A is the chair. It's a chair. And in fact, I saw a couple of, of children say armchair, which is brilliant. Very good vocabulary, guys. Armchair. What about picture B? So picture B, you can see two words. OK, so I can see some of you saying it's a house, but where is the house? Where is the house? Exactly. Suze, do you want to tell everybody where the house is? The house is in the forest. Exactly. It's a lovely house, isn't it? Yes. Would you like to live in a house like that? I would okay. like to live. Yes, I would. It looks very nice. You could go for lovely walks in the forest. It would be perfect. But if you went for a lovely walk in the forest, who would you not want to meet? Perhaps picture C. I wouldn't want to meet picture C on a walk. Good. Exactly. And Petra is saying yes, saying bear. Uh, we've got Ratme was also saying bear. Uh, and Vika saying bears. Yes, because you could see several oh, bears. That's that would right. be a little bit frightening if you saw a bear okay and then perhaps if we were hungry what, what would we like to eat what looks tasty picture d is a bowl of porridge porridge now a bonus question because i've seen you guys are so smart you already know lots of words in english what fruit can you see in the bowl of porridge what fruit can you see? Perhaps you can see strawberries? Raspberries. Perhaps you can see melon. Can you see melon, Susie? I can't. I can't see melon. Apples? Can you see apples? No. Good. Have we got some good answers here? Blueberries. Excellent. Good job, guys. Blueberries and raspberries. That looks delicious. Guys, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Can you share that with us? Tell us what you had for breakfast this morning. Oh, we've got uh, Neil who had eggs and Bivan who's saying he's had cornflakes or chocos. Right, lots of lovely food lots of here. Peanut butter sandwich, fried rice, cottage cheese. They're making me hungry. How about you, Susie? They're what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had some cereal for breakfast. Ah, Susie had some cereal for breakfast. Okay, let's look at our last picture and then we can move on. So what is our last picture? It is, of course, the bed. So good, fantastic, everybody. You know all of these words. Now listen carefully when we get to our story because you're gonna hear all of these words. Now, Something else we need to learn before we go on to our story are some opposites. Now, did you know it's always a good idea to learn words that go together? So it's a good idea to learn opposites, like Susie is young and I am old. No, I'm not <laughs> old. Who calls me old? Oh my goodness gracious me, that can't be right. <laughs> but exactly, that is, those are opposites and that's what we need to learn today. So we've got some opposites here in the picture. We've got soft and we've got hard. So can you think of anything that's soft, Susie? A teddy bear soft. A teddy bear soft, a pillow soft, and anything that's hard? A wall is hard. A wall is hard, a chair can be hard, exactly. Then we've got 
thirsty and hungry. Are you thirsty or are you hungry today? I'm hungry, actually. Ah, oh, hang on, Susie, don't have breakfast now. <laughs> We're talking to everybody. Are you hungry or are you thirsty at the moment? Oh, I can see that Gaspar is hungry. Oh, um, right. And yes. Thirsty. Oh, we've got lots of hungry and thirsty children. Um, so the other opposites we're going to learn today is hot. Susie, do you want to demonstrate hot? Oh, I'm very hot. Cold. Oh. Very cold. Good. And then we've got big. <laughs> and small good big and small and then we've got tired and awake and awake so maybe if i'm tired i'm a little sleepy good i think you guys know all of the words that is brilliant so are you ready to move on to the story i am are, are you? you ready to start or perhaps before we start you can Give me one adjective, so one which describes you. So are you big, are you small, are you young, are you old, are you hot, are you cold? Oh, we've got some really good answers coming through. We've got Anna who says she's smart. Olivia yeah. who says he's intelligent, smart and beautiful. Or Bivan who's saying he's strong. Yes, and Bivan saying brave as well. Oh, that's a great adjective. Happy, good. I'm a young five-year-old, Irena. Irina, sorry, maybe I'm not pronouncing your name fast right. Fast as well, fast. Uh, we've got oh. lots of children who are happy and brave. And cute. I like that word, cute. Good. Well done, guys. You're doing brilliantly. Okay, so I think it's time to start the story. So, once upon a time, and guys, as a side note, that's how we always start our stories in English. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She went for a walk in the forest. She saw a house. She knocked. And when no one answered, she walked right in. So, I wonder what's going to happen next. At the table, in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge. Daddy Bear's porridge has figs in, Mummy Bear's porridge has blueberries, and Baby Bear's porridge has grapes. Goldilocks was hungry and she said, I'm hungry. Now, which one of those porridge bowls would you want to eat? Do you want to tell us which one of those porridge bowls do you think looks the most tasty? Oh, mummy's bears and we have baby bears as well. Oh, the blueberries are popular. Ah, the blueberries always look good. And so mummy's bear, ha mummy bear's porridge has blueberries, but it also has Another fruit. Does anyone know what the other fruit in that bowl of porridge is? Susie, do you know? Blackberries. Lots of people are saying it's blackberries. It is blackberries. Exactly. So Goldilocks is hungry. What do you think is going to happen next? What do you think is going to happen next, Susie? I think she might eat the porridges. You think Goldilocks is going to eat the porridge, but it's not her porridge. Oh, shall we see everybody? Oh, you're right, Goldilocks is going to eat the porridge. So she tasted the porridge from the first bowl. This porridge is too hot. Oh, oh no, Goldilocks burned her mouth. So she tasted the porridge from the second bowl. This porridge is too cold. The porridge is too cold. What about the last bowl? Did she like that porridge? Oh, this porridge is yummy. She said happily. 
and she ate it all up. So she tried daddy's bears, then she tried mummy's bears, and then baby's bears. Do you remember what daddy's, what was the problem with daddy bear's porridge? What was the problem with mummy bear's porridge? Yes, it was too hot. Well done, children. Masha saying it was hot. And yeah, lots and lots of children are saying it was too hot. And mummy's bears was too cold, perfect. But baby's bears was just right. What did Goldilocks say baby's bears porridge was like? What adjective did she use to describe it? Yummy. Good. Fantastic. Good. Well done, children. You're doing brilliantly today. Okay, then after eating the porridge, Goldilocks decided to go into the living room. So let's carry on. After she'd eaten the three bears breakfast, Goldilocks decided she was feeling a little tired. She wanted to sit down on a chair. So she walked into the living room where she saw three chairs. Do you want to read out the chair, Susie? Baby bear's chair, mummy bear's chair, and daddy's bear's, daddy bear's chair. Exactly. So which chair do you like best? Which chair would you sit in? Any preferences? Any preferences? Mummy bears, mummy bears looks very comfortable, doesn't it? Yeah, we've also got baby bears and daddy bears. Okay, so oh, there's a little bit, that's okay. So if we all went into the sitting room, we would all choose different chairs. Perfect. Okay, but what happened next? So Goldilocks wanted to try the different chairs. So first she sat in daddy bear's chair and said, This chair's too big, she exclaimed. So then she sat in the second chair. This chair's too big too. She whined. So she tried the last and the smallest chair. Oh, this chair's just right. She sighed. But just as she settled down into the chair to rest, <gasps> it broke into pieces. <laughs> oh no, Goldilocks was sad. She's broken the chair. Oh dear. Well, Goldilocks was very tired by this time. So she went upstairs to the bedroom. She lay down in Daddy Bear's bed, in that first bed, but it was too hard. So then she lay in the second bed, Mummy Bear's bed, but it was too soft. Then she lay down in the third bed and it was just right. Goldilocks fell asleep. Doesn't she look happy or sleepy there? So can we remember what's happened in the story so far? So Goldilocks found a house in a forest. She went inside. She tried lots of different porridges and liked baby bear's porridge. She tried different chairs. She broke a chair. She broke a chair. That wasn't <laughs> very good. And then she went upstairs and she found a bed. And what happened? She fell asleep. She fell asleep. Okay, good. Let's move on. So as she was sleeping, the three bears came home. Uh-oh. I think Goldilocks is going to be in trouble. Do you? Yes, I do. Someone's been eating my porridge, growled the papa bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said the mama bear. Someone's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up, cried the baby bear. Poor baby bear, he doesn't have any breakfast. Goldilocks ate all of his porridge. And then the bears looked at the chairs. Someone's been sitting in my chair, growled the papa bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair said the mama bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and they've broken it all to pieces, cried the baby bear. Oh, poor baby bear. So he didn't have any breakfast because Goldilocks had eaten his breakfast and Goldilocks broke his bear. Poor baby bear. The bears decided to look around some more. 
And when they got upstairs to the bedrooms, Papa Bear growled, someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed too, said the Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed and she's still there. <gasps> Look, can you see in the picture? Oops, as I think Katarina said, very oops, a big oops. You're still asleep when the bears come home. Oops, a daisy. So yes, Goldilocks was still asleep when the bears came home. What do you think is going to happen next? What would you do if you were Goldilocks? Susie, what would you do if you were Goldilocks? Would you stand up on the bed and maybe have a little dance and say, hi bears, nice to see you. I would probably run from the bears just in case if they eat me. Okay, so Susie might run away. What do the children say? Do we have some answers about what? Yes, we... they agree with Susie. They also, they would run away as well. They would be scared. Some are saying they would be sorry as well. So oh. sorry, run away, yeah. Scream and run away. Scream and run away. Can we all practice? Should we all do a little scream? Do you think everyone can practice doing a little scream? So I know we won't hear you, but we can we can try and hear you. Oh, but we've also got some dancing. We've got some jumping as well before we practice our little scream. What about singing? Why wouldn't you sing to the bears? Maybe they'd be happy. You could sing them a song. Um, I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> no, you don't think that they'd enjoy a song? Ah, oh, we've also got Irina who makes a very good point and she says, I would not go inside. Very sensible, Irina. Exactly. You don't, we wouldn't go inside a stranger's house. But I like saying, I'm sorry I fell asleep. That's a nice thing as well to say, sorry bears, I didn't mean to eat your porridge and break your chair. <laughs> Oops. 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 Okay, so you've been practicing your scream because I think on the next page we're all going to have a little scream. Let's see. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. What should we? Can we think about what kind of face we would put on? Delphine, we're not seeing your scared face. <gasps> Boys and girls, are you putting your scared faces on? Really? <gasps> And then she did, she screamed, help, help. Guys, everyone do a little scream for me, please. Help. help, Good, good. Sorry parents if we're making children scream here, but sometimes it's good to have a little scream. So she screamed, help. And she jumped up and ran out of the room. Good. And she ran down the stairs, opened the door, and ran away into the forest. And do you know what? She never returned to, to the, the home of the, the three bears. bears. And that is the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. So before we finish, let's just practice. So you remembered all of these words, you remembered the chair, you remembered the house in the forest, you remembered the bowls of porridge, but hey, let's have a memory quiz. Okay, so who remembers what Daddy's Bear's bowl of porridge had in? Who remembers what fruit Daddy Bear's bowl of porridge? Figs, my gosh, you're brilliant. When you said you were smart and intelligent, you are, exactly. Daddy Bear's porridge had figs in it. And who remembers what Baby Bear's porridge had in? Any ideas? Grapes, good, grapes, baby bear's porridge had grapes. And then who remembers what mummy bear's porridge had in? Blueberries. Blueberries, blackberries. Blueberries and blackberries. Good. Okay, should we give them another memory question? Who remembers what color daddy bear's chair was? Brown. Good. Good. It was brown. Brown. That's yeah, they remember. Yes, very good at this. And who remembers what colour Daddy Bear's bed was? Ah, oh, that's going to be a tricky question. Oh, oh, we've got black, white. Oh, grey. Good, grey. It was grey. Perfect. 
Right, now, the opposites. Who can quickly match the opposites and who can do an action for me? So Susie's going to do an action and I want you to guess what adjective Susie is being. Suze, take it away for us, please. Hot. Oh, did she accidentally say that word? Oh, what a <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to me another one, Susie. Can you hear that? She's saying the wall is very... Yeah, they've got it hard, oh, definitely. Brilliant. Another one? Can we have another one? <sighs> I'm very... Yeah, they're saying cold. They're saying you're doing, cold. You're doing great impressions there, Susie. Go on then, one more. Give us one more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what she said. Tall. Tall. <laughs> Exactly. Tall, short. <laughs> Getting shorter. Good. Tall and short. Big, small, smart. <laughs> Silly me. Susie's very smart as well. So I think that that's more of a synonym with smart and intelligent. Great. So we know our adjectives. So Let's answer a few more questions before we say goodbye to all of our friends today. So look at the pictures and say, how many bears can you see? Three, yeah, they're saying three, Sylvia. They've got the answer. Yeah. This was a trick question, guys. Kids, can you see a picture? Can you see that there are bears in the picture as well as bears? <sighs> There, yeah, so how many bears can you see? People are saying six. Six. Seven. Oh, there's six, and there's also a bear on the floor. There's a blue bear. So there are seven bears in the picture. Good job, guys. Seven bears, three real bears, three bears in a drawing, and a teddy bear. Who's awake in the bed? That's an easy one. Who's awake in the bed? Goldilocks, yeah. exactly. Goldilocks. They're very good, they're quick yes. with this. Who is big and who is small? So who's big in this picture? Yeah. See, you wanna tell us? Daddy bear and mummy bear are big. Yep, yeah, daddy bear's big, mummy bear's big. Baby bear, not so big. Not so Goldilocks, big. not so big. And who's small? Who would you say is small in this picture? Baby bear and Goldilocks are small. Exactly, baby bear and Goldilocks are small. What colour is the teddy bear? The... Oh, Susie's trying to remember. What colour is the teddy bear? The teddy bear is blue. Do you have a teddy bear? Do you sleep with a teddy bear? What colour is your teddy bear? Tell us a little bit about your teddy bear. Maybe tell us the name of your teddy bear as well. That's always good to know. Yeah, they, they sleep with their teddy bears and got teddy bears, white teddy bears, orange, Gaspar is saying orange, pink and yellow teddy bear from B Van. Wow, lovely. Oh, lovely. So lots of different colours of teddy bears. That's nice. Okay, let's go on to our last question. Say, who has yellow trousers in the picture? Daddy bear. Oh, daddy bear. Daddy bear. and what does what does daddy bear also have on his yellow trousers? Does anyone know? Good people saying red spots. Red dogs. spots, exactly. Red spots. Oh, that very sophisticated red polka print. I am most impressed by how much English you know, guys. Well, listen. This brings us to the end of our storytelling today. I have had such a good time. Me too. I just, I loved seeing how smart you all were and how much English you knew. I know, they know lots of English. And I hope that you'll come and join us for some more webinars as well. So this afternoon at half past six, we're going to be doing Goldilocks and the Three Bears again. But next week, um, oh sorry, on Wednesday, we're going to be doing a family and food lesson and then next week we're going to be doing Hansel and Gretel so maybe that will give you something to look forward to so 
it's goodbye from from us yes. bye everyone bye everyone bye see you soon bye bye have bye. an amazing day and we will see you soon take care everyone take care everyone bye bye